Hello everybody. I'm going to uh, create remote app using app V uh, on Windows 2012. I've, on the Active Directory server, I've created a group here named App V Open Office, and there is a one member user called test user and on the app v server I have uh, open office 3 application here which has been uh, sequenced with these applications here and the AD group assigned to this package this uh, has been this has been uh, sequenced, so it's first virtualized OpenOffice 3 package. Uh, on the Windows 2012 server, we're going to add the package here on global. So, what we do, we start importing the module. This server has uh, AppV installed, as you can see, the client. So we need to add the package. Uh, the server has been configured, as uh, if you have seen the AppV tutorials uh, in my previous posts, you will see that the server has been configured. We type in add at the client package and at the path which is in this case not this a UNC path at the SRV it's just the at the server and the shear the folder and the file at the file let's check if this works Okay, we have added the package. Next, we need to publish the the uh, package to global. So we do publish at the client package name open office three, which is the this here. You can see it. This is the name, and we do minus global you should see the open office package here and next we go to the server manager go to the you can see as remote desktop services here go to quick session collection go to tasks and publish remote app pro programs by publishing this global, you can see that it will be it will be displayed here on in the list. So we have all the stuff here. Open Office. Let's check this here. And there's nothing else here. You can see the path. Uh, on the system drive program it's a shared path so so if we can just see the difference here if we just take a look at the regular published application here on the desktop it is Mozilla Firefox and then we can see it's on local app data 
which is on the user profile but this is on the all user profile here on and in the system data, system drive click on next and publish Click on close, then we have all the open office here. So if we just edit the properties, show in RT web access, uh, set the app v open office group and we have the file association here which is awesome it's not in, in Windows uh, 20 2008 ok, click on ok we should do this also on on the uh, on the other applications do that for the rest and come back to you when it's done. Okay, I've uh, set the group to the to this uh, service to these applications and to set the file extensions or associations. I mean, okay, uh, we need to go to the server through the client. I have the client here and we can go to the web page here just, uh, just go to HTTPS Then we will go to type in the username for the test user, which is member of the Open Office group. We sign in. There you can see the applications. Just open the Open Office Writer here. Connect. Mm. In the meantime, while this is loading, you should check the if the application has been loaded to the app v client on the terminal server or remote desktop server ok, it's downloading now so you will just wait until it's completed and I'll be back in a few moments has finished download, downloading here as you can see and now we can open the writer on the client as you can see it's marked as remote and 
as you can see also the theme is the metro metro theme so this is remote app using app v but if you want to have file associations such as uh, word association you can always change the the uh, file association on the pack you can do that by uh, edit the default configuration uh, the file types and edit here you can do advanced and export the configuration we'll just export it to the desktop here uh, then we open the file just using notepad This is the the XML file. Uh, again, just where it is? Where is it? Where is it? App V file associations. This is the name. This is the file association extension. This is the name dot m uh, assigned to the openoffice.m what uh, the icon and the information which uses the parameters you can see it here so so this is it that's done Be back later with a few more tutorials for you guys. Thank you.